Hello, my name is Lindsay Donhauser, and I am the coordinator for the WPC 101 program, and I would like to welcome you to WPC 101 Student Success in Business. Today, I'd like to take a couple minutes to go through the Blackboard course site that you'll be using as part of the WPC 101 course this semester. Blackboard is a wonderful tool for you in this course and in other courses to find information about the course, to learn about the assignments that you're going to be submitting, to submit assignments that are required for the course, to check your grades on those assignments, and to learn more about resources available to you as a student at ASU and WP Carey. So when you log on to the course for the first time, uh, you will be taken to an announcements page. And this is a great first starting point for you because this is where your facilitator who is instructing the course will be able to post any updates or announcements that you may need to be successful. Beyond that, if you look along the left-hand sidebar, there is information about your facilitator, including contact information and office hour location. The course syllabus, which will define all the policies for the course this semester, like attendance, grading, things like that. Course assignments, which will be where you learn about the essays and the quizzes that you'll be taking and also submitting. Faculty lecture series, extra credit, uh, other student resources, checking your grades, uh, and ultimately some information about Blackboard um, that if you're having difficulties, you can get that help. So we'll go into the course assignments location. And initially, you'll be able to see three folders. One is the Academic Integrity Module, and this is the first assignment you'll be completing in WPC 101. You'll see the iWeek Club Comparison, which is the second assignment in WPC 101, and then the course syllabus if you want to access that as well. Now, don't be worried, we do have more than two assignments in WPC 101, but those assignments are only available to you after you have completed the Academic Integrity Module and signed the WP Carry Honor Code. And the reason that we do this is we want to make sure that moving forward in the course you can be successful, and one way to be successful is understanding the policies related to being honest and truthful in completing all your assignments. And so I'm going to show you how to complete the module. Uh, just to walk you through it before you have to do it on your own. So you'll click into the folder and you'll see uh, you'll start with some assignment directions. You'll see a table of contents on the side. It may sometimes disappear so there are some buttons there that can help you see it. You can also use the arrows here on the side to move forward. So our module has three components, a message from the business school, uh, an overview video that I've created and posted on YouTube, and then finally, a quiz and the honor code that's worth up to 75 points toward your WPC 101 grade. And you have a week to complete this. So we'll move to the next component. So this video, very easy. You can click play when you're ready. It's only three and a half minutes. And then a little bit of information, including a couple of links to the ASU Academic Integrity website and the WP Carey Undergraduate Honor Code. After you watch that video, you'll want to move forward into the longer video, and this talks specifically about uh, the policy as it relates to WPC 101. So some of the different scenarios that you may run across while you are a student here at the business school. Um, and also we'll talk a little bit about some of the consequences if you do violate a school policy and where you can learn more about the policy if you have questions going forward. Finally, you'll be ready to take the academic integrity quiz. You want to make sure that you watch all the videos before starting the quiz because it will be difficult to answer the questions if you haven't reviewed the material first. Um, so if you click to launch, it will give you some instructions. So this test is timed and has a limit of 30 minutes. It will automatically submit at the end of those 30 minutes. Um, but if something happens and you lose a wireless connection, you can go back into the quiz within those 30 minutes and complete the quiz. Uh, most students only take about 10 or 15 minutes, um, and that's if they're taking a lot of time and being really thorough. So you should have absolutely no problem completing the test in 30 minutes and being very successful. Uh, the test does have a due date one week from uh, your first day of class, and that's going to be um, based on whether your class meets Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. So we'll begin the test. Once you click begin, the timer starts, and you'll be able to see that here, give you the remaining time. Um, one of the questions in the quiz will ask you to read the undergraduate honor code and to sign it. Um, 
I'm not going to make you physically sign it and upload it. What, all we're going to have you do is type your name and some information here in the bottom. And the date. So today that I am making it is the 8th. And then to go to the next page, you'll click the arrow at the bottom. Um, and then the remaining questions will be related to scenarios that are discussed in the video. And so you can choose yes or no. And then when you're ready, you can click to the next question. So I'm not going to go through the whole quiz here uh, because I obviously want you to watch the videos before you see the quiz. But I do want you to know that once you take the quiz and go back into course assignments, I'm actually going to leave the page, that all of the additional assignments will open up for you. So if you're having difficulties, make sure that you've checked and completed that academic integrity quiz in order to see the rest of the assignments. Um, once you have finished the test, um, one thing you may want to do is check your score. And so you could go into My Grades. And so here you can see that um, I did very well on the quiz. I got all of my points. If there was any feedback from the instructor, it would be listed here in the feedback section. And for some of the other assignments, uh, there would be a rubric. So I'm going to click in here and show you what this looks like. So the My Sun Devil Story is our first essay. Um, it's a two-page essay, so easy to complete. And this information is going to let you know how the instructor is going to grade your essay and also how well you did once you've submitted the assignment. So um, one thing maybe to keep in mind since essay length is important and it's a graded requirement. Um, if you're doing no less than two double space pages, you'll get 10 points. But if you're only writing one page, you're only going to get five out of those 10 points. And so this will give you a way to check to make sure if, if the grade isn't what you expect it to be, you can figure out why you lost the points that you did and then improve for the next time. So the rubric feature is really great for, for you and for the instructor. Uh, the last component that I want to talk about is uh, the faculty lecture series. This is in terms of graded assignments. So this is the three lectures that you will attend throughout the semester. Uh, one is at the end of January, one is in middle February, and one is right after spring break. So this is sort of the beginning of the semester, and all that information is here, and we've got a, a nice calendar for you. Um, for each of those lectures, you will be asked to respond, just letting us know what you thought about the lecture, and that's really easy. Um, it would be something that you would type and then you could click view complete and upload that file for us and then we would grade it um, and we'll go through those throughout the semester and cover those different topics for you so if you have any questions about the dates you can find that as well in blackboard the student resources tab is another location that can be really useful to you and this gives you information about undergraduate student resources at wp carry and also at asu so if you wanted to know about tutoring, uh, you could click here. If you wanted to learn about uh, financial aid and scholarships, you could click here. If you wanted to join student clubs and organizations, uh, whether those be ASU or even business clubs, or just get the maps for the other campuses in case uh, you wanted to attend another campus for a class or for an event. Uh, we try and put all this information together and um, make it easier for you to find it. And finally, uh, I just wanted to say that there is a link to Blackboard Help if you're ever having difficulty um, on your own it's, you know, and, and you don't have access to, to campus services, maybe they're closed, you're doing your homework at night. Uh, you can always use the Blackboard Help. It's very, very thorough and has a lot of information for you as a student to help you best utilize this website since I know it's new. Um, but after a semester you'll get a hang of it and you'll learn to love Blackboard. So that's the site tour of our Blackboard site for WPC 101 this semester. I hope you found it helpful and I wish you all the best of luck in your semester.